So in today's Dokkan Battle video, I'm going to go ahead and show off the end Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. And no, it's not LR Gohan. Keep in mind that this is global. He is not out yet. He is in the database, but he is currently not in the actual game. So yeah, this is the end Super Saiyan 2 Gohan from the barbershop. And at one point in the game, he was actually the best Super Saiyan 2 Gohan in the game. Up until the point where the STR won Dokkan's. And then, of course, LR Gohan came out as well and will most likely be the best card in the game. Um, for the months to come, we shall see if they will make a more overpowered card in Gohan. And to be fair, there is a bit of a debate over which one is better, Broly or um, Gohan. I don't know, like, it's mostly situational, but that's just an argument that has never going... Well, it's an argument that is never going to have um, an end, pretty much. But yeah, hope you guys are having a great day as always. And if you do enjoy today's video, consider leaving a like and subscribing if you are new. And again, I apologize for my schedule. I've tried my very best to, you know, get on top of things. And I definitely will um, when I, you know, manage the other things first. So yeah, um, that was a bit random. But hopefully we can go ahead and find ourselves a Buhan friend. Which I would imagine aren't too common these days. But So this is the team that we are going to be using, of course. And we have, what, one, two, three prepared for battle units. Taylor's gives key. And, of course, we have an orb changer as well. And let's just go ahead and get started. Of course, we have a type advantage during the last two stages, not the first two. And if you don't know what Gohan does, like, I am so annoyed that this guy still hasn't Dokken yet. He definitely should have Dokken Vela Gohan. Or just, you know, the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, the um, STR one. But basically, he gets a 77% attack boost when HP is 80% or below. So, it's one of those below restrictions and he does have prepared for battle. So yeah, he was the first Super Saiyan 2 Gohan to have prepared for battle. But then it's just like, oh, okay. That's, I mean, that's great. Don't get me wrong. Uh, okay, let's go with this. Hmm, I'm going to use this quick. So yeah, that's great, but then he has that awful, awful, awful restriction. But we shall see how well he is going to perform on this particular team. And yeah, let's just go. And again, not a super attack 10. I can't get every single unit to super attack 10. But I will... Oh, okay, got the crit. But I will do my best when I can. So without a passive active, he hits for... Well, his attack stat is at around... 77k. So if I quickly go to DBZ space and check out his 12 key multiplier. I don't know why I don't do this before the video. It's just like a thing that I tend to do like last minute. Okay. Uh, my Buhan does have crits as well. So, oh, he's stunned. Uh, Tyler's must have done that. So let's go ahead and find the Int Super Saiyan to Gohan real quick. And that is the wrong thing. And yeah, I managed to think of a thing that is going to work super well this series. So... You're most likely going to notice a pattern, and I'm super excited, like, I, I'm i just excited for this thing to actually work out, and it still involves a series, it's 100% part of the series, but the way that it's going to be executed is just different, I suppose, but you, you'll see, um, and I hope you guys do enjoy that, and it, it just adds something else to it, and it gives you something else to look forward to, so I'm definitely excited for it, I couldn't, I mean, I could have potentially started it today, but I feel like I kind of did things out of order for me to do that, so... Yeah, you'll see what I mean. And of course, in the coming days, Boss Rush is coming out. So, um, having that out is definitely going to be even better for this idea. And then, yeah, let's go ahead and see how this goes. So, so far, he is performing relatively well. And his 12 key multiplier is 130%, by the way. So, it's not the greatest, but it's not the worst by any means. And, you know the um, event that is currently out, the Bojack one? I definitely feel like that Gohan... Should Dokken into a Super Saiyan 2, like legit. You guys keep in mind, even if you have a Gohan, you're only going to get him to Super Attack 10, right? It doesn't matter which version you put that character into. So basically what I'm saying is, the majority of the time when you pull LR Gohan, you put the um you take the Super Saiyan one from that event, or you Dokken the base form into the Super Saiyan, feed him into the Gohan, or you take the one from this um barbershop, which is at the start of Gohan, and then you feed him into the SSI LR Gohan. Makes so much sense, doesn't it? But I still feel like he should doken into Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Uh, because, of course, in that particular movie, he does transform into Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. So, it makes sense for me, or in my eyes, but I don't know. Um, we shall see, I suppose. But here we go. So, just over 100k. Damn, so, not that much of an increase. Huh. It really didn't go up by that much. 
Because at Super Attack 10, his final base minimum, like damage, or it's, his attack stat, is 40k. And at Super Attack 1, it's 23,000. So it does go up by quite a bit. And I just... I don't know. I've just never really been a fan of below certain um, percentages passives. Uh, I mean, if you have a do if you have a Dokens, I would imagine that they are going to change it, but I don't know how soon that is going to be, and I honestly doubt that they are going to release a Super Saiyan 2 Gohan anytime soon, so it's just like, oh, okay. We're well, most likely going um, going to have to wait a while before we see another Super Saiyan 2 Gohan or, you know, this event, but who knows? He may do Maybe we... No, I was going to say maybe we are going to get a new Cell, but the thing about that is... We had one recently. Well, not recently, but somewhat recently. So I don't see them doing that. But then again, they released Goteng. So I don't know. It's just one of those things. I'm surprised they didn't doken him, to be honest. Maybe they just didn't think of it at the time. I definitely think they should have doken him with the Cell event. That was a stupid opportunity. And it was a missed opportunity. So it's a shame that they didn't do that. And uh, let's see what we can do here. 58k. Uh... I'm trying my very best to avoid super attacking, but it's just not working out too well because 13 is such a good orb changer and he is stunned, so let's go ahead and grab this. But I'm not going to lie to you guys, at the moment I'm kind of underwhelmed. I did expect him to hit harder, but keep in mind he is not at super attack 10, so it's, you know, it's understandable, of course. Okay, now, uh, let's put Gohan here, and that reminds me, how high is his defensive stat? Not very high. Damn, what is his defensive stat? It's full. 4.3k. I don't know why it's that low in comparison to the others. Okay. Because he's still getting the boost from the leader skill. Unless I'm... Am I missing something? Because he should be getting a 140% attack, health, and defensive boost. But it doesn't seem like he is getting it. Because his um, defensive stat is le like legit. Gone up by 1k. If that. And the majority of the other units don't even have ability system buff. So, I don't... Wait. That's done. No, he... um. I'm actually an idiot. Because I've been blocking with Gohan, and of course because Merger Marcy greatly lowers defense, he's been lowering the, um, the defense of my Gohan. And that's one thing I tend to forget, and I don't know if many people know about it. The um, boss effects do happen. Like, when you see someone that greatly, um, greatly lowers defense or greatly lowers attack, they will do that to you. And we are coming up in a Doka mode. And so far, I've said this again, um, or before rather, I am kind of underwhelmed, to be completely honest. I expected him to hit for at least 150k. We are talking about a 77% attack boost. And to be fair, he doesn't exactly have the greatest attack links. He has Super Saiyan, Kamehameha. So, I mean, it's not entirely his fault. And he, yeah, to be honest, at Super Attack 10, like, even at Super Attack 10, I don't think he would be that great, but... I, f I don't know, because I always try to... The way I think about it now is because I'm, I just play JP so much, I'm always comparing it to how hard units hit there, and it's hard to remember how the meta was before, or how it is on Global now, so... Forgive me, I'll do, um, do that at times, but... Okay. Well, he's stunned at least. Let's see how hard Gohan can hit with his Doku mode. His passive is active, and I missed that, I believe. His passive is active, right? Uh, should be. Okay, here we go. Three, four, five, six, seven. I don't think it's active. It must be. It might just be dumb. I don't know. Okay, here we go. And 150k. There we go. What I wanted um, wanted him to hit for initially, and like I normally talk about ability system buffs and such, but the free ability for int is um, dodge. So. He is disadvantaged there as well. I mean, if he was at least an STR type, he would have um, critical hits as, his, as um, his free ability, but he doesn't. So it's like, oh. Like, wow. Well, I don't know. I'm actually kind of surprised. Because I... But then again, keep in mind, I am com I'm comparing him to what Meta is currently like in Global. So that was an interesting one. Um, in Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, I think he does have a bit of potential. That below, like, below percentage passive is just terrible. And I don't think about it, his attack stat is pretty damn low. Um, his 12Q multiplier is pretty damn low. So, all of, the, all of those things just come together. And 
unfortunately bring him down. And of course, again, he doesn't have the greatest attack links either, so that brings him down as well. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. In the coming days, I have so many exciting things to record, and I hope you guys do enjoy it. But yeah, hope you guys have a great day as always, and I will see you all in the next one.